Hey guys, today we're going to go over converting Newman projections into wedges and dashes, and then from there we're going to RNS uh, the molecule. So the first thing you want to do, we have a molecule drawn here. Um, we got the front carbon and the back carbon. So you're going to need to take a uh, different perspective in order to um, draw it out wedge and dash form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to view the molecule um, from this side towards the molecule. So if we have the front carbon, if we draw that in, and then this will be the back carbon here. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to draw um, what's up and down because these are in the same plane as the carbons. So they'll simply just be sticks coming off. Um, next, when we're focusing on the front carbon, when you're looking in from the right side, the hydrogen is going to be coming at you and the bromine is going to be coming, uh, going away from you. So if we're going to draw this in, we're going to do uh, the hydrogen coming off a wedge and the bromine is going to be dash going away from us. Same thing if we're looking at the back carbon, the chlorine is coming at us, the hydrogen is going away from us. So we draw this in, we're just going to put the chlorine on the wedge and the hydrogen on the dash. Now next we're going to need to assign priority um, in order to RNS this. So if we're going to start on the front carbon. Um, what gets the first priority would be the bromine because uh, this has the highest atomic number. So that's going to get the one. Next, um, we're going to look at uh, this carbon and this carbon. So uh, the methyl attached has three hydrogens attached, whereas this carbon has both um, a carbon attached to it and a chlorine. So since this has um, the next substituent down the line has a higher priority than the hydrogens, uh, this will get our second priority. And then carbon versus hydrogen, obviously carbon gets the next highest priority. So when we're going to RNS this, we're going to want to draw um, a circle from one, two to three. So in this example, when we draw it in, this is going to be going in the counterclockwise position. Um, so usually this would be uh, an S. If you want to do the steering wheel example, this would be a left-hand turn. Um, that's an S. But since we have the hydrogen coming at us, you actually, um, if it looks like an S, it's really an R. So this one's going to get an R. Moving on to the back carbon, um, we're going to do the same thing as before. So we're going to assign priority. So the chlorine, since it's the highest atomic number, is going to be 1. Comparing the methyl group attached or the um, other carbon attached, since this one has a bromine and another carbon, this gets the second priority. And then hydrogen versus uh, methyl, obviously the methyl group gets third priority. So same thing as before, we're going to draw a circle from one, two to three. So it's going to go in a uh, counterclockwise position again. But since the hydrogen is actually back this time, um, you just assign it um, how it normally would be. So this would be an S since it's counterclockwise. Uh, and that's how you um, convert the Newman to a wedge and dash. And then from there, that's how you RNS.